Hey everyone, I'm back, or at least I'm tempting to be. I'm here in Markham, which is on my way down to Tartar Bike because I'm about to drop off a few bikes to be stored. Now, Markham is a place I used to ride all the time back in the days when I worked at Tartar Bikes, when I lived with Mark Westlake, and it's actually an awesome place to ride. It is a really frosty day today, but it actually brings back memories of filming here with Mark, with frost covering everything, and still riding anyway. So, I've got a couple of hours to spare, and a day like this, it'd be rude not to come out and try a few lines. Now, if you're wondering where my 2023 yellow hex is, well, I've been waiting for some wheels. It's been complicated. Contracts have ended, contracts have had to be renewed, but they have been renewed and some wheels have been ordered. So fingers crossed, I can build that bike pretty soon. But anyway, the person who has sat on the bench I wanted to ride has moved. So let's go try some stuff. By the way, this is the first time I'm experimenting with my updated camera setup. Now the camera itself is the same as I have been using, but I've added a DJI Osmo Action 3, a bit of a tongue twister, to try and get some vertical shots because I never have any footage for Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. So I've bolted this on and hopefully that will give me extra content. The good thing about the DJI is it has a quick release so I can just pop that off stick that in my bag and it takes up way less space and when I want to use it, it just plonks back on and so far so good but yeah keep an eye out for the clips that I've got from this Well, you know what? Someone tried to cross the road, but I think it is business time. Five degrees in the middle of January. That's the way I like it. Well, that up to manual kicked my ass. The hop up was way harder than I expected. It's a lot narrower, the bit I had to go up and the run up was kind of awkward, but no excuses, I just really struggled at it. I've gone from weeks, maybe even months, of pretty much no bunny hops to like 400 bunny hops a day. I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. That isn't quite what I wanted. I wanted to add a little bit extra on the end. I'll have to come back to that one day. Well, the sun is starting to get a little bit low. There's still stuff I wanna ride. So let's go take a look up that way. Can't resist a good bunny tap. Got this in slow-mo for the Insta as well. Let's see how well I can do it. It looks completely vertical when you're riding towards it. So hitting your front wheel 
<laughs> or basically near the bottom of it. Just goes against everything your brain's telling you to do. like a dream. So narrow on top as well, this channel here. <laughs> Pretty pleased with that. So back in the day in Markham, this used to be a really cool spot we used to come to. Now back then I was more of a pure comp style rider and the challenge always was to side up off the white wall up onto the roof of whatever that thing is. I don't think I ever got it clean to two wheels. I think I like got it really, really close or maybe I ever got it once. But I always remember it just being pretty awkward. I was like, I wonder if I could do it now. Well, nothing much has changed. It still looks like it's just out of my reach. The height is probably like a couple of centimeters higher than my max. And it's also the distance, the gap between this wall and that wall. And then you've got to drop all the way down. It's very intimidating. So yeah, it's still annoyingly just out of my grasp. So frustrating. It is so close, it's so frustrating. I just want to try it, but I don't want to fall down there or slip to pedal or even smash my disc on it. It's one of those challenges that I one day hoped would be quite easy. And maybe if I continued riding comp bikes, this would be quite an easy thing now, but going back to a street bike, this bike is definitely not designed for big power moves like that. So I think this might forever be outside my reach. <laughs> yeah too big. I need to get a TGS rider up here and just like send that up to back wheel or something. And speaking of TGS, I did a drop gap over there and if that's the drop gap that I did, it's absolutely huge and I could have been a legit TGS rider. I have to show you this because surely I didn't do that. So I know I've done a drop gap from a roof to this wall. Now was it from that roof or not because that looks way out of my league. The only thing I can think of, and I'll confirm this in the video when I get back, is I have a photo of me doing this drop gap. And I've got a feeling there probably was another building out here that's been demolished. So it's probably not as impressive as I imagine it, but yeah, I definitely did some kind of drop gap there back in my comp slash TGS days. And no, I'm not gonna send it today. Right, let's go see if we can find anything else. This was always a line which we did on the comp bikes. Up and over this one. And yeah, on this side of the bike, this is not easy. But it's not gonna stop me, is it? Right, well there we go everyone, I'm gonna call it there because as you can see, the sun is pretty much set and what a gorgeous sunset we have. I've forgotten how good they can be over like Blackpool, Morecambe Coast, absolutely gorgeous. Now today has been actually really fun. I haven't ridden for ages. I certainly haven't ridden street trials for even longer and I forgot just how cool Morecambe is. I've been meaning to come back here for ages and I'm definitely gonna come back again because it is so, so cool here. So much riding, so nice to ride somewhere fresh again. 
I hope you guys all liked this video. If you did, show me by giving a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already. I'll try my best to get a video out next week, but there's loads going on behind the scenes at the minute. I'm actually flooded with like, too many projects on the go at the minute, but it's all super exciting. I really hope there's going to be some good news for this channel soon. So keep your eyes peeled. I'll catch you next time. Have an amazing week. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.